Hello guys, Valeria Tushanka here and today I want to show you some amazing tool for every photographer, for every uh, creative person who have his small uh, camera in his po pocket. So basically I have professional camera, but at the same time I have this Canon S110 uh, camera from 2013 with 12 megapixels camera and with very poor, poor ISO quality and lens quality and everything. But believe me or not, I will show you how to make great, great photos and send it to Shutterstock uh, with no problem from this cam camera. I will show you that it's really work and you can earn money on it. So let's take some photo I did yesterday. It's very simple one. Uh, as you see, we have here, we have uh, interface of this program, DxO Pure RAW 3. I click process now button and here we have four options high quality prime, D prime, D prime, XD. I personally use D prime because it's take not too much time to process my images then I choose lens softness I choose soft option because if I choose standard or strong or hard it produce very over sharpened images so basically I with this camera in particular I work with soft it's good enough minating chromatic aberration and less distortions all click click on it but for this uh, for this I don't want less dis lens distortion. Output format will be DNG, and I make uh, I want to create uh, example folder folder in the same folder where original image uh, ex exists. Let's start processing. Yes, we will use unique name. So meantime, let's look at my portfolio on Adobe uh, on Shutterstock, and I will show you that every image I previously sent was accepted by, by Shutterstock. All these beavers work, works photo was taken two days ago and all of them was accepted. Just in case you are interested in my portfolio, what I can do, this is my images from Canary Islands, some from Slovakia, uh, some of them from Germany and, and basically you, you can trust me that I am professional photographer here. This is from, from Austria and let's take a look back and you will see that all these images was accepted by Shutterstock. I mean until this one, 30 or something images. So let's come back to our processing result. I have the MacBook Pro from uh, late 2013 and it's not super powerful, we will wait a bit more and it's a let's view result. Okay, we will, let's put 400 uh, magnification and let's take some example here, like here. Just look how noisy image in this area and how it clean after processing. You see details here, as we don't have, I mean, look at the windows. It's amazingly what this program can do for us. It's clean, no chromatic aberration. Look here and here. Why? Why I have to pay much more money if I have my old, old, very old and trusty camera in my pocket that I can produce to this in, for this quality of image. This, this is just amazing. Look at this. Let's look here. Before, after and before. Night and day, you see? So basically I highly recommend to use this program. It's amazing how this program works. 